if I like it, then somebody else is bound to like it. That's also a carnivore. So let's see. What is up, YouTube? My name is Adam, and this is Broke Man Finance. Today, we're talking about a food company that is making their investors a lot of money as of lately. But is it legit or is it hype? Popular YouTubers in the finance space like Jeremy Financial has been giving this company a lot of kudos and a lot of free advertising. Jeremy's got a huge following on YouTube and is, was one of the first ones to really start getting into the stock market reviews and that kind of thing on YouTube. But how much of that free advertising and that that hype that guys like Jeremy has put into this, how much is how much of that has been priced into this stock? The company that I am talking about is the Very Good Food Company. No, I'm not just saying that. That is the actual name. I've been hearing a lot about it on different forums that I'm a part of, on discords and uh, YouTube channels have been following these guys that I wanted to see. I wanted to see what all the hype and all the fuss was about. I wanted to know if the product is actually good or is it not good. So I ordered some burgers. Now, I don't have a lot to compare it to. Like I said, I've never ever eaten a plant-based burger, bean burger, whatever. But if it's good to me, it's probably going to be good to a lot of other people. So make sure to stick around to the very end and watch and see if I like this burger or not. And if I do, and you're a meat eater, there's a good chance you're going to like it too. But before we do that, let's learn a little bit more about the company. The Very Good Food Company, ticker symbol VRYYF, or Very Good Butchers, if you're looking for them online, is an emerging plant-based food technology company that designs, develops, produces, distributes, and sells a variety of plant-based meat and other food alternatives. Very Good Foods was born in British Columbia at a farmer's market. People kept telling the chef how delicious his fake meat was, so he found some business-minded individuals, and well, that was that. They now have a slogan of, we butcher beans, not animals. Very Good Food is currently trading at $5.44, but you won't find them on Robinhood. They have seen a 52-week high of around $7.18. They're off of that just a little bit, obviously. But this time in October, they were trading for around $1.38. So you can see that they've had a pretty good run-up as of recent. The market cap is around $642 million right now, and that has also seen a big run-up this year. The plant-based meat industry, I can't even hardly say it, has a stupid amount of growth potential over the next decade and beyond. Check this out. The plant meat industry was 10 billion in 2018 and is expected to be nearly 21 billion by 2026. And I've read that it could be possibly 34 and 35 billion by 27 and 28. You can also see the CAGR there or compound annual growth rate of 14.8% because this is being looked at on a global scale. It's kind of like electric vehicles, but with food. And beyond the meat would probably be the Tesla in this, in this field. But who is going to emerge as Neo, and who is going to emerge as Nikola? I know you're out there, Trevor. Nearly every fast food restaurant has their plant-based meal version. McDonald's has something, Burger King has something. Now Taco Bell is getting plant-based taco meat, and KFC is supposed to be coming out with plant-based chicken tenders. It's kind of weird to think about a bean tender from KFC. The company announced a record revenue of $782,790 for the month of November. This represents an incredible 582% increase year over year. Very Good Food believes this strong performance came as a result of increased traffic in its American and online revenue streams still. The majority of people have no idea who this company is or what they're about. Younger generations are going meatless more and more. It's no secret that the younger generations are more health and environmentally conscious. Here is an interesting statistic that I read that points to a very broad market for this very thing with, when it comes to young people. About 80% of Generation Z consumers go meatless once or twice a week. 
Some are doing it for health benefits. Some are doing it for environmental purposes. Others are doing it with animal welfare in mind. 80% once to twice a week, regardless of what you think about vegans or plant-based anything, you've got to respect that number a little bit, that you've got to give that kind of number some attention. There are many investors and analysts that believe that we're on the cusp of changing how we consume food. Now, I'm not saying that ribeyes and fillets are going anywhere anytime soon, but right now, the amount of plant-based foods that we eat is less than 1%. And there are people saying that over the next decade and so, that number will rise to around 20%. 20% of the meats that we consume will be a plant-based meat. That is a another really big number with a lot of growth. Now imagine what the share prices are going to look like if we're right now at less than 1% consumed and the demand rises to over 20% consumed. Here's a snapshot of some of the things Good Food is excited about sharing and why they feel they are poised for growth. Their e-commerce has been off the hook here lately and their revenue has jump, just jumped through the roof. Uh, social media is getting stronger. 50 plus wholesale customers on a wait list. They've got multiple uh, locations opening up, one being in California, which is expecting to boast the capacity for their production by 28 million pounds per year. The quarter two of 2020 revenue of 1.1 million was a 395% growth year over year. They have industry leading margins of 40% compared to uh, beyond BYND, that's beyond the meat, that's that Tesla I was talking about earlier, who is at 29.7%, meaning whenever they buy something and then they sell it, their margin, this is their margin of profit. Celebrities and sports stars like Kyrie Irving and Venus Williams swear by veganism, and now Pamela Anderson has signed on to partner with Good Foods. I can dig it. Now, let's see if I'm ready to sign on. Circle of confidence, right? Like Warren Buffett and his Cokes. <laughs> and just for the record, this is my very first time ever eating a plant based burger uh, apparently it's made of beans onions and some other stuff and yes this is loaf bread because i forgot to get i forgot to get buns even though i knew i was doing this all i could think about was the uh the bean burgers here goes nothing all right if i like it then somebody else is bound to like it that's also a carnivore so let's see Okay, I can I got I kind of get it. It's actually pretty good. I don't know if if I had to choose between this and an actual burger if I would get it, but I could see that if you're trying to do go healthier and make healthier food options and life choices, I could see why this would be so popular. It's pretty good. If you don't mind, give me just give me one side. So if we recap, you got a company with a lot of growth. You've got a company that is targeting the entire globe. That's a that's a pretty good market. You have a you have generations of people that are more environmentally and health conscious, and this fits right up their alley. You have a product that actually tastes good. So all things to me, I think I'm I say this is most certainly a buy. And I like the entry point because Beyond the Meat's $144.144 at the time of this filming. So that may be a high entry point for a lot of people, and who knows how much growth Beyond's gonna have. Their finances aren't the best in the world. They are getting better. They're doing a lot of big things. And I'm going to talk about them more in the next video uh, as far as opening up plants in China and fast food. But it's like when Tesla grows, all the other EV companies go up too. When Beyond the Meat grows, everybody else is going to come up too. But I think that as far as growth potential, you have more growth potential with the very good food company right now. And I think there's, there's no reason... I don't see why you couldn't see these guys over $20 a share next year. But that's all I have, folks. Please leave me some comments in the comment section below. I hope those stocks stay green. I hope you stay safe. And I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas.